the clutch pedal. It's gone to the floor. It won't come back up. And there's bits of metal in the footwell. You need a new clutch pedal. What have we here? We've got a bit of plastic off the clip and a bit of metal off the pedal. And boom. it needs replacing or fixing. And then we've got this bit of, yeah, this bit's usually clipped onto the pedal as well. So we're gonna uh, have to take off the lower dash uh, to get access to the clutch pedal and you're going to want one that's pre-welded reinforced to go back on because uh, otherwise you know if you get a new one it can just snap again like this one has so i'm going to take this cover off undo all of these pull this away slightly undo this one this one and this one pull the steering wheel down and out as far as it will go into that position there and then we can uh, the panel clips in here and here and we'll pull it away uh, let's get that done everything's undone so I find if you just put your fingers in down here and just Pull the whole thing, comes away nicely. There we go. And then we've just got a couple of plugs to undo. And then we've just got the OED port to disconnect. get this out of the way and there we have it there is a destroyed pedal so we're gonna undo oh we've got to take this off as well which is dead easy twist and remove done easy as that uh, so new pedal now customers bought this and this is really good for us to show you uh, what the whole assembly looks like. If, incidentally, if you're changing the clutch master cylinder, this is what you would do. You would take uh, the nut off from there, and there, and there, undo it on the car side, and then pull the whole thing out. We don't need to do that because we're just changing the pedal. We don't need to change the entire assembly. But like I say, this just gives us a good chance to show you what's going on. So we're going to undo this nut from here, and then getting this bolt out. It's really annoying that it's assembled this way because to get the bolt out of this side here, it snags the steering column uh, and it's under tension and things like that. So it just, you know, gets in the way. But yeah, we need to disassemble that. And then there's usually a black clip that sits on here. You've just got to pry it off both sides. And then we've got this white clip here that again, we just need to be able to pry from both sides with the screwdriver. And then this will pull out of this part here. Um, obviously we're going to do that with the one that's on the car so because it's all the way up under there access does become a bit tricky slide the driver's seat all the way back if you're bigger than me I mean I fit but if you're bigger than me you might want to take the seat out so you can get a much better access as well uh, so yeah let's whip this one apart and show you what needs to be done so here's the broken one from the car. You can see that that normally lives there like that. Now what happens is, these tiny welds here crack, and then this whole thing is just one bent piece of metal. So once these two spot welds have cracked, then it just, yeah, blows through like that. Now, it's worth mentioning at this point, I would advise getting a pedal pre-welded stronger. Today's job's a bit of an emergency. Um, we're just working with what we've got to get him back on the road. Uh, but yeah, ideally getting hold of a pre-welded one would be better. Uh, when they strengthen them, 
they put a weld across this back edge here as well. That's the primary way to strengthen them so that uh, these welds aren't having to do as much work. But yeah, this standard one that we've got will work for now. Now it's worth noting that if you're getting sent a replacement one, check that it's got these collars in. If it hasn't got these collars, then move them over from your old pedal. Obviously make sure that you move this over it as well. Um, otherwise you'll be in trouble. Okay, so again, imagine this is on the car. If you're replacing the pedal as a preventative and this hasn't destroyed itself, then you will need to undo these clips. So you just need to, again, while you're under the car, this is a lot more difficult. Just need to pry them gently like so. And then give it a bit of a pull. Um, from under the car, you're probably gonna end up doing something like this actually wedging one there like that it's actually harder off the car yeah <laughs> that's gonna go come on i'm gonna push one yeah this is definitely easier on the car with it all held in place to be honest push one through like that that just stabbed me that's great and then push the other one Yeah, that's two, three, too far. Right, let's try again. This is easier on the car, I swear, I swear to. Just gonna pinch these two bits out and pull. So this one's staying out now, so now we're just gonna, no. So that's what you gotta balance it between each side. I resorted to, um, <laughs> I resorted to another hand coming in just to pull it out as I was pincering. Uh, it is fiddly under the car with just one person, I'm not gonna lie. Off the car was more difficult though because nothing was being held in place. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, uh, then you can wiggle the pedal off. And then the new one going on, uh, I'll show you, I've already recorded this bit, this is the power of uh, video editing. We're gonna show you how it goes back together off the car now. So let's pretend for a second that we've got the new pedal in place and this is on the car, okay? So to reassemble this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this piece here and from underneath, which is the view that we'll have on the car, we'll put it up and into here. So you can see it slots into that little plastic uh, bit there, yeah? And then underneath the car, we're gonna already have this piece clipped in place and then we're gonna brace that against there like that. And then we can simply balance the spring until such point that we can line up the hole like so, and then just slide the new bolt in, or slide the bolt back in. And hey presto, it's reassembled. Obviously on the car that's a little bit more tricky. Uh, but that's as easy as it is to make to uh, get that bit in. You can mess around, you know, uh, taking the tension off this with cable ties and things like that. Some people do, but the way that I've just shown you works every time. So back in the car, top tip for you is you put the bolt through from this way instead of trying to struggle to get it through the other way. But there we go. Clutch pedal back in place. Just needs the nut putting on. Switch putting back in place. And then do all this up and jobs are good. And I have got another video for how to put that lower trim back up. So I'll link that here somewhere. Uh, I hope that's been really useful for you. If it has, please, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel grow. Um, and I'm trying to be as useful as I can for as many people as I can. So the more people that see this stuff, hopefully the more people will benefit. Anyway, cheers guys. Have a good time.